I was at an event. I somehow got more work, and um, I found myself at a uh, historical site. And um, the people were telling me how there were ghosts in the place. You know, and you gotta believe we saw them, or you know, they they believe that they had ghosts there. So, without skipping a beat. And without any malicious intent, I tell them, well, I know somebody who actually talks to ghosts. Like, you know, I see dead people. And they looked at me crazy. Now, this is where this came from. If one story of the supernatural is to be expressed and even considered acceptable, how is it that the other one wasn't? I thought it was kind of funny. So if some people say, well, I see the ghost, or we're got we get spooks around, and woo, then you tell someone, well, I got someone who can talk to them, and then they look at you like you're batshit crazy. Well, where does that stem from, you know? And being who I am and the things I'm involved in, yeah, you know, I have over 60 religions. I deal with a lot of different supernatural, paranormal. Um, people, organizations that, you know, I keep an open mind to everything. It doesn't mean that I believe in them, but they exist onto themselves. That's how I see it. So if there's someone out there I know who talks to ghosts, then that's what they do. And if I have somebody who, um, you know, is the ghost chaser or UFOs or whatever the case, but that's what they do. But I thought it was funny how in the Medane world they can talk freely about one thing and totally shun you if you mention another. And I find that kind of amusing, if not a double standard. You can believe in our little spook show, but hey, if you got something that can match it, oh, we don't hear about that. That's Satan. You know, or that's just bad, or. You know, so I find that amusing. It's kind of like, um, you know, like, like, like an exit only door, you know, you, you can't rebuttal. You know, we can tell you a fable, but hey, don't, you know, don't try to, don't try to let us know about other things, you know. So I thought that was amusing. I wanted to share that with you <laughs> because the reaction I got was hysterical. Think about it. Imagine if you would, if you're in my shoes, people telling you they're ghosts here we have things happening and you happen to know somebody who actually you know who claims to talk to ghosts or whatever it might be you know. and then they look at you like you're batshit crazy well if they're bringing up the world of supernatural to me well that just opened up my floodgate to have a supernatural conversation right and just the fact that they kind of clammed up after was a bit amusing it was like wait a second I have to accept your load of bullshit. You'll have to accept mine. Not that it would be bullshit, just you know, if you're catching what I'm saying. So yeah, that was a double standard, and I did find it quite amusing how they shut up real quick and went back to work. So the Bradenton Country Club was where I was at, and they were um, proclaiming to have ghosts, but if you talked about a ghost whisperer or a ghost, you know, or I call them a seers, people who actually communicate or deal with ghosts. And um, I happen to know one. And uh, prolific. I mean, she, it's kind of like one of those blessing and curses. And um, so when she deals with them, you know, I, I, I spent about almost a year with her in business. Uh, we weren't business partners, we just helped each other out. And, um, but I took in what she experienced, what she said, for face value. I mean, if she told me she saw a Bigfoot, I'll tell her. I, I just nodded my head. Um, you know, and if she was blowing smoke up my ass, well, that's fine. That's what she did. But if she had something legitimate, that was fine, too. Again, face value. Um, I never challenged her or, or demeaned her in any way. This is what she believed. And, and I... You know, I, I encompassed that belief of her, uh, her belief in respect that that's what she believed. 
So I gave her that respect, you know. So, but I do find it funny when someone, again, they, they you know, people talk about the supernatural, and then when you tell them there's more to it than the supernatural, they clam up or they freak out. You know, like they had a story to tell, and, oh no, we don't want to hear the ending. Or, oh no, we don't want to hear the continuation. Oh, there's a book too. Fuck no, you know. So, I figure in five minutes I can tell you a quick story about how in the Medane world, the normal world, if you would, when they try to talk about something that's out of their league and you happen to be enveloped into that league, it kind of sets them off. It kind of makes them scared. God, I just love being an occultist. I mean, I'm a Satanist, but, you know, you, as a Satanist, by default, you're an occultist, too. You know, whether you're talking hermetics, you're talking, you know, paranormal, uh, supernatural, you know, you, you encompass all of it because, you know, you, you keep an open mind to all these different things out there. And, um, and it is funny. I have people calling me at my church for various reasons. You know, recently I had a stalker. You know, that's fine. But the um, but I have another one. In fact, I got to get in contact with her. Um, a Christian woman wants me to baptize her. Um, however, she is a very big fan of Joel Osteen's, and I happen to know a church that Joel Osteen endorsed. So I actually have to kind of redirect her to another church, just so that um, she will be in an environment that be more appropriate for her because um, you know my emphasis on my organization is for uncommon and minority belief systems uh, to put it bluntly the occult Christianity is not an occult per se because it's a mainstream religion now right so but if she still wants me to baptize her and she's hell-bent for me to do it Oh, I'll just have to watch a couple of baptisms on YouTube, read some scripture, dunk someone in the water, and praise Jesus. See, I don't have that limitation like my good friends who saw ghosts and, you know, they, oh, don't know any more about ghost world, we just want to tell you about ghosts. You know, for me, I'm very open-minded in that respect. To include, but not limited to, actually baptizing someone in the name of God. Their God. But that's fine. If that's what make them happy, I'll do what they want. After all, I'm a reverend. That's what I'm supposed to do. Right? Anyways. Um, figured I want to share that with you. Funny perspective on two things. One is how people kind of put a double standard on something they don't know about. And secondly, how in, in, in literal terms, I, you know, I am exercising a state of open-mindedness that not many people can do, I suppose. By example, even. Holy shit, I'm tooting my own horn. Oh, don't do that too often. Anyway, I wish you well. Enjoy your Friday and your weekend. Oh, shit, it's already the weekend. Well, enjoy the weekend. Take care. Bye for now.